What's going on? Young Ambition Soft Wash here. Thanks for tuning in. Today we are doing some moss treatment on a very mossy cabin roof. Uh, take a look. Look at all of that moss. Woo. Go back here a little bit. Look at the back side of this roof. Unbelievable. So what we are going to do is going to blow this off with a leaf blower. We're going to get some of these pine needles off. Just going to see what we're doing here. Probably try to break up a little bit of the loose stuff with that there broom over there. And then we will go ahead and put the sauce on the moss. Get some of this off of here. Get it turning nice and dead. All right, now we got the roof blown off a little bit. You know, it looks a little bit better, don't it? If, uh, in my opinion, if you're not taking a little extra time to blow some of this junk off the roof before you get started, you know, you're kind of doing your customer a disservice. Um, now, obviously, this moss is pretty thick, and it's holding, holding on to a lot of those pine needles. You're not going to get everything, but it looks a lot better already. Um, then if you come up here and you say you're going to clean the roof, but yet you leave and the moss is treated and you, and you do what you said you were going to do, but there's big sticks and chunks of pine needles and, and everything else on the roof. Um, at least now, you know, it looks a little more presentable than when you got here. Um, obviously with this much moss cover, um, it's going to look a lot worse before it gets better. Uh, it's going to turn a nice brown uh dry out so the least i can do is make sure that they don't look up here and see big sticks and stuff like that so if you don't have a blower this thing is great it's just an electric atlas blower runs on a 40 volt lithium battery all you got to do is press the button and it fires right up so this is the first piece of a uh, lawn equipment that i've ever owned that is electric um, I wouldn't use it around my house. The battery keep Billy. I don't know if they have bigger batteries. The batteries just don't last that long. Um, but it's perfect for, it's perfect for this, you know, getting up. A lot of times I use this, um, with gutters. I don't want to be starting and stopping and starting and stopping it on the ladder. So what I'll do is I'll put this right down the gutter, pull the trigger. You can blow the gutters right out. Um, you can do it with just a click of the button. And again, you're not having it running constantly. Um, and also um it's not it's a spot and also it's just starting up whenever whenever you need it you know again i wouldn't be using it if i was doing my lawn at home i just it just doesn't have the power and it doesn't have the longevity of with the battery and all that but if you guys don't have one of these spend a couple hundred, hundred bucks and get it and uh it goes a long way it goes a long way you can use it a lot um <laughs> And now it's time to put the sauce on the moth. Let's do it.
All right, so we got this section coated. You can see that it's all starting to turn nice and white. That's what you want. You want that stuff looking unhappy, starting to die. So all we're doing here, all you want to do is get a nice little fan spray going and you just coat the moss. Now, when you're dealing with a lot of moss like this, sometimes you got to get it really wet. If you're doing a normal roof wash where you're just looking at black streaks, you just, you know, you can get the, you can get the shingles just a little wet. You don't want them too soaked. But here, this moss is so thick the way that it is, I'm going to give it a really nice spray. If you look over here, you know, you can just fan it. Just make sure everything's nice and covered. And then you'll see it start turning white. If there's some spots that are staying kind of green, go back and hit it a little more. Just might not have put enough on there. But all you're doing is just giving it a nice fan coat. That's it right there. Okay, so here we are. Roof's been sprayed. All this thick moss turned white. Dark green there brown that's what we're looking for right there look at that nice and thick and white over here on this side roof pretty thick turning white yeah baby looking good so unfortunately this is going to get uh, a little uglier before it gets better, but also is going to turn brown, die, dry out. Mother Nature is going to take it right off. Might come back and do like a courtesy look and blow some off of the blower, but as of right now, we are done. Well, recently, I broke the handle on my reel. Oh, this is uh, my life now. It's a lot of fun taking. 150 feet off and having a hand roll this. And just as I was saying earlier about this, very convenient, but the battery's dead already. So I'm gonna plug it in, I need it. Just blew off the roof and went on the patio. So I'm gonna have to do the patio when I'm done. Comes this little charger, plugs right in. And then I, for 15 bucks or so, bought this. Plugs right into here. And then I can plug this Plug this in and, and charge this battery while I'm on the go. The 200 watt, 200 watt converter. Yeah.
All right, here we are on our last roof that we got to do. Not too bad. A little bit right here. To take care of. A little bit on the back side. A little bit on the back side here. Nice little patch right there. And then we're done. We're going to do a little power washing. Now on this part where it's just shingles, just gotta give it a light coat, get wet, doesn't have to be as damp as that thick moss. Trying not to put the tree too much. <laughs> 